Hello everybody and welcome back here after quite a bit of a break to Akiba's trip undead and undressed <laughs> and I, I well none of us can remember what we were doing beforehand but I don't think it's really going to make any difference to be totally honest with you because we're making it up as we go along I am here as always with the ever wonderful April Thanks. Hi. Hello. Hello. And uh, yeah, we've been a, a little bit off of uh, off the radar doing these things because of uh, well, there's been a, f a few personal problems, and I started a job, and I quit the job, and I'm mm -hmm. uh, doing various bits and pieces, and planning on leaving the country. It's just got all confusing, really. Yeah, it's a bit bonkers. It's, yeah, bonkers. Good word. Bonkers. <laughs> So here we are, we are going to play Akiba's Trip and perhaps we will actually get to undress a vampire yeah. this time. I, I don't know. I also don't know if I can remember what the commands are. In fact, I doubt very much I can. So you might as well enjoy this because it's probably going to be the best gameplay you're going to see. <laughs> <laughs> and right, okay, so we are... Yeah, well, let's play the game. Yeah. No. Uh, last time we played this, we were um, we just gone through the trial to prove that we were the master fighter that we were. And when I randomly mashed buttons and surprised myself by actually winning, <laughs> there you can tell how long ago we played this. Yeah, fifth of October. Yeah. Wow. Yes, fortunately, two thousand and fifteen. <laughs> right. Yes, there we go. Small world, isn't it? After all. It's, yes. I was right, So it. here we go. We've got. We're standing here with our um, Norwegian maid who speaks a little bit like this for some reason. <laughs> and. Go on. I forgot she has like a platter for her shield. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, the no way suspiciously looking large pink baseball bat is our weapon. <laughs> So, um, right, we have a new mail, and let's see if we can remember how to read it. Not that one, that's the map. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what that did, but it went... Oh, it goes twing, twing. Okay, <laughs> that jumps. Jump, jump. That does something. Things. That one? That one! Right. Hey, we can save. Do you remember how we were so excited when we found we could save? Oh, yeah, that was hot. That was so I've good. I've got to do it. I've got to save. Oh, oh, she's got to save. oh. There we go. Oh. Yeah. oh. Saved. Oh. oh. All right. All right. Yes, we are this sad. Saved uh, right. and sated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I expect great things of you. Oh, that's from Antoinette. You yes. have considerable skill. I will be waiting in the arena during normal business hours, so you feel free to drop by for a challenge anytime. <sighs> Here are the basic rules of conduct for your reference. Rules. The arena is rank-based. The more matches you win, the higher you will be ranked. You will always be matched up with fighters of equivalent rank to your own. Victory will earn you monetary rewards. There's no registration fee for con nor contract required to fight. All you need to bring with you is your burning passion. Heart. I'm so glad. Yeah, <laughs> she's just so into it. You mm -hmm. can just feel the, the you know that her life and soul is these fights. <laughs> it's like when uh, there are these these restaurants in the United States, which you'll have to go to, but there it's Moe's um, Mexican Grill, and you go there, and every time someone walks in the door, the staff is supposed to go, "Welcome to Moe's," but at this point, they've been open for so long that like you'll be like, "Welcome to Moe's." Like it's really funny. Uh, welcome to Moe's. I used to have a soul, but I've traded it in for this money I'm earning while I'm in education. <laughs> yeah. Something happened. I'll tell you the details in person, so come in. I have no idea who this person is. So come on back to the bar as soon as you're done with your training. Yeah, we'll figure it out when we get back there. Yeah. It's not our business who or it is. Or just make it up as we're going along. One mm -hmm. or the other. Okay, the there's some more boys. stuff in the... Yes, yeah, so there's more stuff in the encyclopedia. And it's all question marks. What? Right. We know a plain t-shirt. Mm -hmm. It looks like a plain. Okay, we know everyday jeans. Oh, yeah. 
Can't be bothered with that. Here we go. Right. <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah. Right. So we're now actually martial artists of high standing. Okay. The Kiba girl. Uh, oh. That's her Random action, button mashes, mashes of high standing. Would that one count? <laughs> yes. Junk Street. Yeah. Much junk. Much junk. <laughs> Little Street. Much junk. Many crap. Uh, Woo! Buy crap. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What have we got here? Okay. Let's have a, let's have a look around because there were some shops that I think we walked past last time. Yeah. Riff raff. Uh. What's down here? Other things. Alright, okay. Uh, uh, I'm just... Oh, there it is. There's an inn. Let's just see what it's like. Cool. Welcome, welcome! <laughs> Alright, bye. Ooh. Okay, right, port. Hmm? We don't need to look at this. Let's go and advance the story, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> well, we're so poor, too. <laughs> yeah. What's the arrow pointing? The arrow pointing is pointing that way. Isn't 4,000 yen like $2? It's something like that. It's not much. Yeah. I mean, that's probably that's probably less than it actually is, but it's not much. It's like a, a once before we, we switched to, they switched to the euro. I, I once, once bought uh, enough Italian lira to be a, um, a millionaire. And I bought it with the money I earned delivering newspapers as a kid. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's great. You could go to Rome and you'd find that there were homeless people living on the streets that were millionaires. Wow. The fate of a keeper is in your hands. Oh, she said and that? You keep on running into people. Hi. Mm. I was gonna say, I was like, if people on the street are saying that, I don't think we're doing a good job with the whole covert thing. Yes. Well, if you notice now, everybody's running around with a weapon. Am I going the right way? I don't know. I'm mm. just cross track. Uh. In fact, the way this is going, the whole 20 minute episode is just gonna be running to the next mm. location. Wasn't there an exclamation point that said which direction yeah. to go? It was behind us. I told you I was going the wrong way. <laughs> right. Oh, he's wearing weird that construct way. pants. Okay. Yes. Scary huh. thing is I can actually remember when they were fashionable. Yes. He, he's going to get the jacket for a zoot suit. Yes. It's going to be 1997. Uh, back, in the, back in the late 90s when it was perfectly acceptable to wear um, a, a dinner jacket and jeans to the shops. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, people still do that. It's just that they're cut much better. <laughs> Kenny wears grandpa sweaters over, like, gingham button-down shirts, and somehow he rocks it. Like, he's finally aging into his personality. No, oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I'm finally aging into my face. Aww. So is he. Ah, this was Deckard Kane, if oh, I remember Oh, again, right. yeah. Hey, nice. welcome back. You know, it's a fun voice to do. So how'd it, it go? That Antoinette's a bit of an odd one, ain't she? Not a bad person to know, though. Next time you see her, give her my regards. Anyway, I got a question for you. When you were ta when you were walking down Junk Street, you saw some suspicious people milling around, right? If you got some energy to spare, I'd like you and Shizuku to get to head back there and scope the place out. Okay, right, we were taking this in turns to answer these questions beforehand, so ladies first. Um, when I get back, I'm going to eat so much. <laughs> okay. Man, you that hungry? <laughs> I sent Tokyo out shopping, uh, shopping, not some few minutes ago. Is there any food you want to add to the list? Okay, um... Tell her to buy me three of the usual. Ah, got it! Get it! Got it! Good! Sure I'll call her now and let her know. Oh, she's good. Okay, that's me. 
Uh huh. Um, okay. No, I don't remember either. We're off to patrol Junk Street. We'll be back soon. Okie dokie. <laughs> ah, it's the right accent for that one, isn't it? Okie dokie. <laughs> Go get him, but be careful. Is that you? Junk Sheet has all those tight, cramped roads behind the Bell Halley Assembly Hall. Definitely some shady people back there, and there'll be two more fairly soon. Okay, there's a stranger on Junk, Junk Street. Is there anyone we want to talk to in here? No. <laughs> Let's get out of here. It's a hard pass. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's going with you. Okay. okay, so now we need to look for people who look suspicious. Like those lolies right there. Yes. In fact, is there anybody here who doesn't look suspicious? Mm, that weird bow-legged guy? Uh. Walk up to him and say, how's it hanging? Uh-uh, tenderly. <laughs> I mean, I did see someone early on. I thought I was actually tempted to stop. They were walking along, clutching their stomach. Oh. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Either. Yeah, they were. Yeah, either they were suspicious people, or they'd eaten the local food. One or the other. <laughs> uh, okay. Out here. There. This guy. There. there this one here. Oh, okay. Well, should we beat them up on gentle principles? Sure. They're like, hey, feel better. Yeah. Well, he's talking, right? I guess. And I've just managed to push him out of the way. How do we start a fight? Um, I guess you smack him? I think you might be right there. That's how I usually do it. How does one start a fight? Hmm. Right, we're going to find out with this guy. I don't know if he's a, a, a vampire or not, but we're going to beat him up. I, I spent too much. Uh, let's talk. Oh, maybe you can't start a fight with him. Maybe you're right. I think I've pretty much pressed all the buttons. Let's actually get to Junk Street, which is where we need to go, which is up here. And then we'll start doing this properly. Hmm. Oh, boy. Yeah, they complete with adverts. Yay. Hmm. Are those the suspicious people Pop spoke of? <laughs> what the hell's your problem? What do you think you're looking at? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You hear to start... Oh, yeah. oh, go ahead. None of you first. Up to you. You here to start something? I'll make mincemeat out of you both. They're synthesters. I can sense it. I'm afraid we have no choice but to deal with them. Your turn. Um. I've got your back. Not yet. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. Where's the toilet? <laughs> okay, so. All we need to know is there's is just a technique called counter. It sort of happens on its own, though. Hmm. Okay. Um, if, if one of the attack buttons is pressed at just the right moment during a defensive... St I'm not going to remember this. Hmm. It may result in a devastating counterattack. I can't even remember what the buttons are. Bam! Right in the cotton polyester blend. The area which you strike when counterattacking is determined by which button you press. It's not necessary to match the enemy's attack. These are the default controls. All right. So, if I remember right, Y, B, and A are attack upwards, attack mid, lay, middle, and attack low. Okay. Okay. All right. And attacking a counter strip maneuver can be triggered automatically if the corresponding art of clover has a low enough durability. Okay. Right. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, 
wish I could think of some epic music to hum, but it's not coming to me. Like, it'd be rock, but rock. And is why grab or something? Get the clothes yeah. off. There we go, one down. Naked. Oh god. <laughs> and if anyone asks, yes, I am just randomly mashing buttons. It seems to be working though. <laughs> Or a knot, as the case may be. <laughs> 48 chain. Go you. Ah, oh, we got. Ah, oh, we got one nudie. All right. All I think right. that worked. I, I have no it. idea how that worked, but I think that worked. Not our business how it worked. Yes. There don't. Seem to be any more of them. Okay, let's head back and tell Pops what happened. Yeah. Okay, should we have a quick look around and see what we can find here? Sure. That looks like all two Takus run around clutching their stomachs. Well, you know, they ate a lot of Pocky. I suppose that's right. Hmm. I'm wondering what actually can constitutes someone who's someone who is actually suspicious looking because quite frankly they all are yeah and when does it cross over into just profiling yes uh, oh, you didn't keyboard get any is a better weapon no. no didn't get any items either i think mm. and I'm... yeah if anyone's wondering i have no idea how i won that i've got to be honest with you mm. i have no idea whatsoever what i did i'm gonna have to actually go and learn the keys to this i think well, you know, you always tell me that I should just enjoy life, so yeah. you should just enjoy their deaths. Well, I am. I just think random butting mashing is not going to get us... Well, it's going to get us so far. Yeah, eventually um, you're going to have to actually yeah. do it. Well, you're going to have to get um, good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it did actually get me about halfway through the Street Fighter, the first Street Fighter game, so... Mm. Yeah. Uh, Chun-Li kick. And... Now, anyone, anyone, anyone who's watched me play any game knows that I'm completely making it up as I go along, so it's not that different, really. That's okay. Uh, do you? I do. I make it up as I go along. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. No. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. That's where we want to go. Mogra, the ever living. What is it with these adverts? I think it's for in-game shops. <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> oh. Uh, was that was me, I think. No, I think that was like my Emmy voice, but I can't remember. Go for it. Oh, hey. So well, it is now. You got your order right here. The whole family of beef bowls. <laughs> One, two, and three. She's got your beef okay, bowls. Okay, uh. Yeah. <laughs> if you drown them in sauce, the way I like it. <laughs> Of course, of course, but, you know, it's not easy to bike all this way with a stack of beef bowls swimming in sauce. There's definitely an innuendo there somewhere, isn't there? <laughs> yep. So, uh, guys, you know, we serve here food, too, right? Oh, but that's garbage food for garbage people. Might be nice if you order from us every now and again, or at all. Ah, but Pops, this bar... Well, the coffee's delicious, but the food items are, are not so delicious, and I'm from Glasgow, I should know. That's right. Oh, that stings me right in the old ticker. You're an employee here too, you know. Don't it bother you to tell me our food sucks? Well, I did try dipping the, the ramen in batter and frying it. That seemed to work a bit better. <laughs> I have to say, Fish though, <laughs> Nanashi, your order is quite a bit bigger than usual. Are you pregnant? <laughs> uh, uh, I was the one on the right, you were the one on the left. You were the one on the right, yes. And that might just be the understatement of the century. 
your food order is monstrous, man. Like, eating contest world champion monstrous. All you've done is eat lately. Oh, and it was, what was it? Brooklyn Rage. Yeah. <laughs> Could this be a side effect of your transformation into a synthester? Most likely. Those who are transformed typically attack humans and feed on their vitality. But that's not the case here. It seems Nanaki or Nanashi can say. Er, hello. It seems Nanashi. No, 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 Nanashi can still say his hunger with food as long as he eats enough of it. So he's a Marty Stew. Mmm. Mmm. I hadn't thought of that. So, hurt by sunlight and always hungry. That sounds very rough. That's me. <laughs> Doesn't it sound seem kind of weird though? I mean, if every other synthesizer attacks people, why doesn't the Nashi? What makes him different? Author insertion. Yes. Well, that's. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, Nanashi. Since you're gonna be fighting monsters from on or here on out, I come up. I'm so sorry. Wow. I came up with a few support plans for ya, so to speak. Yuto, if you would. Right, can I see your cell phone for a bit? Now, where was it again? Ah, uh, here we go. Set the login info and... Done. Alright, so what I've done is I've installed an app on your phone that lets us freedom fighters read and accept requests for help gathered from locals. The icon that launches it is on your home screen under the side missions, so feel free to try it out at your convenience. And it's worth pointing out that it's also going to download and archive every single piece of porn you look at. <laughs> We've ordered extra servers with really, really big hard disks. Oil yipping. Mm. Basically, the idea is... Switch their own. I'll take it from here. The idea is that you'll be riding... A lot of riding... You'll... I keep biting my tongue. The idea is you got a lot riding on this whole fight with the synthesizer, Nanani. Nanashi. <laughs> yes, yeah, so had... stay a while and listen. He had a stroke. And, well... <laughs> You kind of suck at sports, you barely ever fought a real battle, and you got nothing under your belt but some Coliseum fighting. Real nice, Pops. Hell of a pep talk. Now lie down so I can pee on you. My point is, you want to have an advantage against the Synthesters. You got a network. It's not fair. The girls insist I pay when I want to do that. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening? Oh, good lord. <laughs> There we go. There Can go. you see that, right? Yeah. Right. You gotta reach. Well, thank you very much, Steam. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta reach out and touch people in the nice cities, getting uh, to know what makes them tick, and why it's worth saving them from these monsters. I'm getting the Brooklyn the in there. That's annoy <laughs> yeah, the thing that's annoying me is I set that to uninstall 12 hours ago. Huh. That was good timing, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to gather up requests and send them over through that app and leave the rest in your hands. Up to you which ones you want to tackle. I hate to say it, Pops, but we're doomed. <laughs> it's all in Akiba either way, so you shouldn't be able to knock them out most of them during your patrols. <laughs> <laughs> ah, all the words were there, not necessarily in the right order, but all the words were there. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of patrols, we're going to head out on ours. We'll take the area around the station. Nanashi, you'll take the side street. Uh, your turn. Um, can I take a quick nap? <laughs> People are being attacked out there. This is no time to be lying down on the job. Oh, she blushed. She's so mad. Uh. Anyway, if you find anything, be sure to report back on it pronto. Or oh, she's thinking very hard about lying down with him. Maybe. 
Mm. I'm sorry to have dragged you into this. We wouldn't have it any other way. Akiba belongs to the people, you know. No. Whatever we can protect, we will. That's what being a freedom fighter is all about. Yeah, right on, Pops. Way to man up. Hmm. I'm neither impressed nor inspired. Hmm. We meet again, personally accompanying Brotaku. <laughs> <laughs> Into the sister? No, that wasn't a request. Hmm. So, like we're saying here, there's one more person in our group that's kind of a secret character. Hmm. Someone needs to deal with her cowlick. She also <laughs> found herself living in the shop, though in her case, it's cause she's kind of a hermit. Her room's the one back behind the bar. She has ready access to all the booze. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's me. Um, uh, my uh, name is Shizuku Tokikaze. The Freedom Fighters have been a great help to me. It's nice to meet you. I know who you are. I was eavesdropping from behind the bar counter. Get your hands off my brother. <laughs> He's mine. And it's nice-ish to meet you too. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah, my sis is weird. Mm. Ooh, yeah, we don't have to. Don't force it. Mm. Dealing with you, 3D PD people. The 3D PD three. Yeah, I like that. 3D PD people drains my energy, so I'm going to go now. Mm. But there's something I want to discuss with you, broccoli. Mm. So come to my room later. Like brother, like sister, huh? Yeah, but at least... Oh, that was you. I'm sorry. Would you like to say like I brother, like sister? I was <laughs> Oh, if I must. Like brother, like sister, huh? <laughs> yeah, but at least there was a time when she had everything together. Not so much for her brother. It's two o'clock in the sodden morning. You're lucky I can see straight, let alone voice the right words. <laughs> The little sister's very good with her hands. You gotta watch out for the big daddy mind, especially that girl. <laughs> you know, she can make all kinds of clothing. All the protective gear used by the freedom fighters is a product of her demon arts. <laughs> if you have problems with your outfit, all you have to do is speak to with the little sister and they'll be solved like magic. Hmm. Hey, so, hey, not to interrupt, but patrols anyone? We'll be out on the, around the station. See ya. You should go speak with your little sister. Don't worry. I'll wait here for you until you're done. I'll just stand in the corner. Hmm. Okay. Side missions? Yeah, not interested. Uh, still not interested. Thank you very much. Uh, right, and as usual, the massive amount of dialogue has taken us way over 20 minutes. Huh. But... Oh, out. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And thank you once again, April, for coming along and playing this, and hopefully we'll be doing some more of these very soon. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for inviting uh, me. Uh, my pleasure, my pleasure. And everybody else, thank you very much for coming along, and uh, I'll see you all soon. So until the next time, thank you, and good night. <laughs>